Welcome back Vipers, I'm Paulo. Um, today I just something really quick I want to show you guys. This is the new K-Box 160 that I just did a review on and it uses the same chip as the Dripbox 160. They're exactly the same chip guys on the inside and I have been hearing some news saying that um, it does not do temperature control with stainless steel wire. Okay, and um, I like Hanger Tech products, okay? And I didn't do this test on the other review because it was already 36 or 38 minutes, which was long. So I just decided to do one, you know, apart from everything else, just to check it out, see if it does it or not. I'm using 24 gauge uh, stainless steel wire from, um, it's a 316L uh, stainless steel wire by UD. It's the, the wire I use. This one's already finished. I have a brand new one over there. But yeah, it's 24 gauge stainless steel. Um, 316L, okay? It's a brand new coil I just put in here. And this is the Kanger Tech K-Box 160. First thing you guys, you guys are gonna wanna do, if you're changing to stainless steel, guys, don't forget, because this does happen, you have to take out your RDA that's on top that uses regular Cantor or whatever you guys were using. You have to press the fire button so it'll say check your atomizer, which doesn't have one. Put a new one on. Now it's probably not gonna say anything, but I can show you this if you want. Hit the fire button. Now it doesn't do it. Uh, hold on a second. I'll see, say you had another mod on top of it. You press your fire button like it just showed you. It'll say no atomizer. Put your stainless steel coil on top and it should ask you. When you fire it, if it's newer yet, you press plus button to say yes. And it'll set in your resistance. This is a 0.38 or 36. 0.36 ohm coil, okay guys? 24 gauge, 10 wraps, 2.5 millimeters drill bit. I use a 2.5 with um, my coil master. It's a 2.5 millimeter, okay guys? So yeah, so basically now, you're gonna set it to SUS, which is stainless steel. So you press it three times. One, two, three, to go to nickel. One, two, three, titanium. One, two, three, uh, nichrome. One, two, three. Stainless steel. Okay, guys, that's it. I have it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to tell you 160 here, but it doesn't fire at 160. It depends on the coil you have and on the temperature you put on it. Okay, so let's see if it works, if it burns my cotton. Um, you guys have to look at the watts. It'll always say this, and the watts, it shouldn't fire or be really low on the watts. That's temperature control. It's a dry coil, it's brand new cotton I just put in here. If you guys want to see that, hold on. Brand new cotton. Okay, there's nothing marked on it. So let's see if she works. Press. See that? Hardly no watts. And I have my finger down on it. See? Pass the 10 seconds and it stops. So let's see what it looks like. See, it, guys. Stainless steel wire, temperature control, and to me it's working. I don't know what you guys think. You want to do it again? Let's do it again. Okay. It's not just because of Kanger Tech that I like Kanger Tech. It's because I told you guys this is a good product. So, you know, I know it's easy to say it, but you guys watching it, it's something different. And I'd rather have you watching it than seeing comments saying that it doesn't work in stainless steel. Okay, uh, might as well see it on camera live. I'm not cutting anything off. Everything is live. Press it again, fire. I'll do the 10 seconds again. And it should cut off. See? Cut off, okay? 10 second cut off. Let's check out the cotton again. That's what you get, guys. Nice. Okay. Let me get some juice in here. Now I'm going to pause. I'm going to put some juice in it. And then we're going to vape on it. See you guys. Okay, guys. I just tucked the cotton in. I'm using the same cotton. It's going to put some juice on it. This is spaced coils, okay? I use spaced. I always use stainless steel spaced. It seems to work better like that. Spaced. Get some cotton on this, baby. Let's see if she fires. Um, like I said, guys, it's the same chip. The 160 
or the Dripbox 160 use exactly the same chip. I didn't do this on the Dripbox because it comes with its standard coils already pre-built. So on this one, I'm using the Twisted Messes version 2 clone by Tobacco. This is like $16, this RDA. Really, really nice RDA, guys. Really easy to work with, nice deck. I'll be doing a review on this one pretty soon, but yeah. Okay, so we got some juice on the deck. I'm still at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me see if she fires. And there we go, guys. Vapor. With their stainless steel. There's a temperature. Is it working? I think it's working. Okay, guys, so yeah, it works. Still got vapor production. If there is no juice on your cotton, it will turn off automatically. That to me is temperature control. That's what I got for you guys for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped some of you guys. And I'll see you all in my next one, okay? Stay safe, you guys. Rock on the vape park.